What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. It is Christmas Eve day and uh, we're gonna do a little duck hunting, but it's a special duck hunt. My wife's grandpa loaned me this 410. I'll show it to you whenever it's daylight, but we went and got some shells last night and uh, boys are setting up decoys right now. We're gonna get everything set up and uh, I'll see you when the sun starts coming up. Hopefully I can get a few ducks down with this 410. Uh, that would be awesome. And then I think we're gonna try to do a whole duck recipe. So stay tuned. Um, we're gonna get everything set up and uh, hopefully the ducks start falling in. back at the house I'm actually at my parents house right now we're doing our Christmas today um, this is a widgeon this is a widgeon Drake so what I'm gonna do is just start plucking this bird we're gonna do a whole um, roast a whole bird skin on so I'm not gonna bore you with plucking this bird but basically all you do is just 
come in here and go against the grain and uh, pull the feathers out. I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looks like whenever we get uh, most of these feathers off and then we'll take the wings off, take the feet off and the neck and all that good stuff. So obviously it's not completely done but I'm gonna go ahead and take these wings off. I'm gonna take the wings, um, the head, and then the feet off. Now I don't do this very often as you can probably tell because it is a lot of work. Uh, normally on ducks we just take the take the uh, breast out. So pop, pop these legs off just like that and then just cut your neck off. So there's your duck. Now what you want to do is take, there's this piece of meat right here. You cut that right there. You can actually cut that off. These scissors are not very good. So you can cut this back piece off right here. Basically the tail. So then what you want to do, take your scissors straight up the back side of them. So you don't want to go um, on the side of the breast. You want to go up the other side. This way you can get in there and get everything out that you don't want in there. I'm not going to show this part because y'all know the rules on YouTube. So, All right, guys. So now what you want to do, take your blowtorch and uh, burn all these pin feathers off. You can see them. I don't know if you can see them in the camera, but there's pin feathers everywhere just tiny little feathers and you just want to singe them off there's a lot of stuff that I didn't get it takes a lot of time to sit here and do this to a duck um, it's a lot of work so props to all you guys that do this with every single one of your ducks I don't know how y'all do it Those, part, those feathers probably aren't the best ones to sit here and burn. Probably need to pluck those bigger feathers. But All right. That looks about good to me. Um, so now we'll take it inside, put it in the brine for a little bit, and then... Uh, come up with some kind of recipe and uh, bake this guy, see what it tastes like. All right, so we got the Traeger fired up. Um, this duck has been sitting in salt water for roughly an hour. Um, so what I'm gonna do, we have it cut down the middle like you saw. I'm gonna take this onion, stuff the middle of it with some onion and take some of these tomatoes, do the same thing. Mix it in there with, with those onions. Some fresh rosemary out of the garden. Uh, we're gonna stuff that in there. And then we're gonna take some toothpicks and just sew her back up. Best you can. Put one right at the end so this stuff quits falling out. Just like that. Now we'll take some Truffle salt, truffles are amazing. And this has like, it's like a uh, salt infused with truffle. It has just like little chunks of truffles in it. But uh, just a little extra flavor on there. Put some salt, now don't put a whole lot cause it's been soaking in salt water. Um, so you don't want to overpower it, but get that, screen, that skin to crisp up real nice. Put some salt like that. And then we'll take some critter glitter fish and fowl this is what this is made for right here hold up this is what it's for so just dust it off with some critter glitter and then we will uh let it rest for a minute while the traeger is still heating up and uh then we'll slap her on the traeger at 375 for about two to two and a half hours um we'll put a meat probe in it to make sure that the internal temperature doesn't get over 
medium. You'll really want to cook your duck medium rare. Let's go put it on the grill and uh, start cooking. All right, Traeger is ready. Let's take it out. Press side down. Um, that's just how I'm gonna do it. I don't know if that's the right way or the wrong way, but. Now I'm gonna take this meat probe. It's pretty cool, these Traegers have it to where you can just click the button and it shows you the temperature. So I'm gonna put it through the back into the breast just like that now close the lid and if you're looking you're not cooking so we got our timer set for two hours after two hours is up we're gonna look at it make sure that the well i mean we're gonna keep an eye on the temperature the whole time it's cooking but after two hours we'll open it see what the skin looks like when we get that gold crispy skin that's when we're gonna pull it out if the internal temperature is correct so We'll see you here in two hours and uh, hopefully it's done. All right, well, we let her go a little long. It's been two hours, but our meat is up to temp. So we'll pull this probe out and uh, we'll take this duck inside. See what it looks like on the inside. It smells good, I know that. Man, that smells good. That looks good too, doesn't it? Let's go cut her up, see what she looks like. So I'm gonna take these toothpicks out. A little crispy, that skin got crispy on us. That's a good thing though, that's what we wanted. And we're gonna flip it over. Oh, that does look good. Now, let's cut into it. It is a little overdone, but actually, it's really hot. So it looks like it's a little bit overdone, but the skin is perfect, just how I wanted it to be. I don't know if y'all can see that, but uh, I mean, it's overdone, but let's see what she tastes like. Mmm, that's really tender inside. One thing you watch out for when you shoot birds. That will hurt a tooth right there. Glad I didn't bite down hard. That is a BB out of a shotgun shell. That right there will crack your tooth so fast you won't even know what to do and it hurts that thing is solid metal so mullet singer is here with me i'm gonna cut him off a bite i'm gonna rate this before i give it to him we'll see what he says about it i'm for duck like i love duck poppers i like fried duck i like like i make like a rice and duck deal but like a whole duck i don't do often but I'm gonna give this whole duck a 9.6 out of duck that I've eaten because this right here is good. Let's see what he says. All right, you don't. You're not a big fan of right, duck so either. I'm not a big fan of duck at all. So I'm a little uh, leery about this. That skin is good, man. <laughs> That's good. That is really good. I think we got a new way to cook duck. Yeah. On the Traeger. If you pluck them. Saw I'll brine. Them. No, you got to pluck them. But, um. Eat good. That is really good. One out of ten. Man, I agree with you. It's a definite, definite nine. That's the best yeah. duck I've ever eaten. That is. That is awesome. We need to make, like, some kind of fruit chutney or something to go with that. Yeah. Little, that is little mango chutney and uh, we need to not cook it as much next time but still that's really tender for how still tender it looks looks like it's over we're using the wrong side of the knife wow that skin is really good that skin makes it too crispy guys if y'all are into duck hunting and you have a smoker or a traeger 
uh, you have got to do this because that is literally the best. That might be the best duck I've ever eaten. I'm not sure. Duck poppers are hard to beat, but that right there is good. So I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I uh, hope you all have a good day with your family. I know I did. Um, and it's Christmas Eve right now, actually. So y'all be seeing this tomorrow, which is Christmas Day. So hope you all have a blessed Christmas. And uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. And remember, eat good.